In the 1950s, a new spraying technique was developed to control locusts in arid and semi-arid areas. It requires an extremely low volume of liquid to be sprayed. In fact, one litre of product is usually sufficient to treat one hectare. This technique is called ultra-low volume, abbreviated to ULV. For this technique, insecticides are supplied ready for use by the manufacturer. This means that field control officers don't need to mix them with water or any other liquid and thus are not in direct contact with the pesticide. To be sprayed in such small quantities per hectare, the liquid must be broken into small droplets by sprayers that are calibrated correctly. These droplets are sufficiently light, but not too much to be carried easily by the wind over a given distance. In fact, due to their light weight, these droplets fall very slowly and tend to move laterally rather than falling vertically like raindrops. It's the combination of the wind, together with a good spraying technique, that distributes the product over the entire area to be treated. ULV formulations are oily, so that the droplets don't evaporate and make the control operations ineffective. Oily mixtures like these offer other advantages too. For example, these droplets stick to the vegetation more easily which improves the efficiency of the insecticide. For all of these reasons, the ULV technique allows locusts to be controlled much faster and more efficiently than traditional spraying techniques that use low or medium volumes of pesticides formulated as emulsifiable concentrate. Spraying using the EC method requires between 50 to 400 litres of product per hectare, depending on the sprayer. It may also be less efficient because it's a water solution that can easily evaporate. Of course, this ULV technique requires specific training, but it provides outstanding benefits and is far more efficient compared to the EC method. This has been recognized around the world since the 50s. Furthermore, important savings can be made compared to conventional control operations. For example, if 20 field control officers have to treat a plot of a thousand hectares infested by fourth and fifth instar hoppers with backpack sprayers, it will take five days to treat the plot by ULV. If the same plot is treated using EC, it can take up to 25 days to control the locus. This means mobilizing field control officers for 20 additional days, as well as the related resources and logistics. In addition, in 25 days, the untreated hoppers will have fledged and form swarms that will fly away and settle in other areas. Another advantage of the ULV technique, and not the least, is that it does not require large quantities of water like spraying with EC. This results in a much lighter logistics, considering there's no need to transport water by tanker truck. It is therefore easier to access and treat mountainous and remote areas. With this ULV technique, the preventive locust control strategy can really be implemented because it is possible to treat locust population that otherwise would be unreachable before they develop and form swarms that move to other areas. But countries don't need to suddenly replace all currently available sprayers with ULV sprayers especially considering that more pesticides in ULV formulation need to be registered at national level. Both techniques can coexist, EC formulations having their own indisputable advantages, for example, in gardening areas. 
It is clear, however, that if we don't want to mobilise important human resources and equipment because of locus upsurges, an innovative solution is required. I have been using ULV for 35 years. For me, it's the rational choice for countries that are still using EC. Why? Because ULV is cost-effective and efficient, and it allows the preventive locust control strategy to be implemented. With ULV, we can protect the poor vulnerable farmers who grow food to feed their families. Let's not forget that it's for them that we do all this.